Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday Talks. My name is Judy Zorn, and my two guests tonight are Kim Teachout and Anne Marie Jones, both GLCO musicians. And tonight we're going to have a conversation about a new summer series program that both Anne Marie and Kim are co directing for the orchestra. If you recall, just about a year ago, when the COVID pandemic was just beginning, the orchestra started doing some programs online. And one of the programs that we did online was called Little Bay Concerts. And what it was were small ensembles of GLCO musicians that were playing together, safely distanced and, and all of that. And we put those programs online. So we are now going to take that idea and do something so much fun this summer. And I have invited both Anne Marie and Kim on Tuesday Talks tonight to tell us a little bit more about this. So ladies, can you share with our audience what it is, what are we doing? What is Little Bay Live? <laughs> So we, Kim and I have been friends and making music together for many years. And shortly before the pandemic, we had been having a conversation about how amazing it would be if we could come up with an ensemble to perform in other venues around the community to bring um, our music to audiences that perhaps wouldn't come to a formal concert in the concert hall. And it was such an exciting idea. And then the pandemic hit and everything was at a standstill. So um, this was an idea that I think was on the back burner for us. And then when we started talking with you, Judy, about what you were envisioning with the orchestra and how we could start to safely bring music back this spring and summer, it was like that idea just like popped to the forefront and it was like, okay, this is the way that we can start to make this happen. So we are taking what was Little Bay Concerts, an online program, and now we're calling it Little Bay Live because that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be live out in the community. So where are some of these concerts going to be, Kim? Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, well, first of all, they're going to be groups of um, small, small groups of musicians from Great Lakes Chamber Orchestra performing in um, five different communities, Charlevoix, Petoskey, East Jordan, Harbor Sp Springs, and Boyne City. Um, we have a number of different venues lined up, um, Marina Park and Harbor Springs. Um, you'll have to help me out, Anne-Marie, on some of these. <laughs> I don't have them all memorized. Roof Jewelers, I remember that. Mm -hmm. um, the Rose Garden at the Perry Hotel in Petoskey, for example. Um, concerts at the park at the gazebo here in Petoskey. Yeah. It sounds like a nice mixture of very public park kind of uh, locations like the Marina Park in, in Harbor Springs and the gazebo in Petoskey. And then there are also some very uh, traditional, um, wonderful venues like uh, Bayview and the Rose Garden at, at the Perry Hotel. So are these going to be all summer long or what what's the time frame for this um they'll be taking place in between june and late august i think we actually could extend into september but i believe our last date is in the end of august late august so, mm -hmm. yeah and are these evening performances daytime performances kind of a mixture isn't it yeah it's really great that we have a mixture of uh sort of day of the week um, or time in the day opportunities. So I think we're going to have the opportunity to engage with a wider variety of audience members um, because of this, because sometimes we'll be in the middle of the day, some will be afternoon and some will be evening. Right, right. So, you know, I think 
for many of us and, and many of the GLCO followers and audience members, we see you on stage as a group, as a large yeah. orchestra or a chamber orchestra. But tell us a little bit, many of you play together in smaller groups, duos and trios and quartets and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. We're hoping that we will have a wide variety of different musical ensembles. Um, it, this feels to us like it is an empowering opportunity for the musicians to create the types of small ensembles that they already love to play in and give that, those ensembles an opportunity to be heard in the community. The repertoire is also completely decided on by the musicians as well. So if some of our classical musicians who always play classical music in the orchestra have other types of music that they are genres that they love to um, play, like personally, I love to play fiddle music, um, that gives us an opportunity to do that as well. Well, that sounds really exciting. And I think that really underscores what you said earlier, Anne Marie, about taking um, classical music or taking the orchestra or orchestra musicians out of the concert hall, bringing them into our communities and making that music touchable, if you will. And, mm -hmm. and now you're saying, well, you know what? It doesn't have to be Bach or Beethoven or Mozart. It, it can be fiddle music or jazz or pop tunes or show tunes or um, all different genres of music, which will really um, make this music just speak to so many more people. I'm really hoping that this will be an opportunity for people in the community who've never come to a GLCO concert to get interested to for, for whatever, the musicians put forth to spark an interest and then they say oh maybe there's more to this than what I knew about and whether you're young whether you're a child or whether you're old older than a child <laughs> this could bring you into the concert hall because the way that these concerts are um, you know put together by the musicians might just magnetize people into the rest of our concert season so will, will there be an opportunity maybe for some dialogue or some um, talking with the musicians or by the musicians about the piece that they're doing or their instrument that they're playing or anything like that? Absolutely. That's part of um, the project, in fact. So um, we really want to find a way to find a deeper or to make a deeper connection with our audiences. And that is done by um, getting rid of this kind of, I'm playing, you're going to appreciate me, and you're down there. And when I'm finished, after you've been quiet, listening to my piece for a half an hour, <laughs> you're going to clap for me and I'm going to bow. And then we're all going to go home and never speak to each other. Um, <laughs> this is not the type of concert that we want to... <laughs> <laughs> this is not the type of concert that we want to um, create. We want a performing and an, an, an audience um, experience that can, can interact with each other and to, to find a deeper connection um, than, than we get in our normal concert um, settings. Right. right. Absolutely. Well, it, it, it is a wonderful project. I, I am certainly involved and, and helping in, in putting it together. But, but uh, Anne-Marie and Kim are co-directing and this is a project that is a series that is coming from the inside, if you will, from the musicians themselves and being generated and organized and put together and produced by our own musicians. And, you know, I, I just can't think of a, of a better time. It's our 20th anniversary. And we, well, what a year it's been, right? <laughs> and here we are still reinventing ourselves and bringing another new kind of approach or a new program to our public and to the community. So it, it, it's very exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're both just so thrilled to be part of this innovative project and, you know, 
it's it's a small organization in a quiet corner of the world, but we're really putting something exciting out there that feels fresh and new. And I love that. I do too. And, and I love that our audience members and sponsors and supporters and music lovers will have a chance to get up close and personal to, to our favorite GLCO musicians. And so it'll be a lot of fun to see who is going to sign up and what kind of duos or trios or quartets are going to be performing. Do you have any other final closing comments about our Little Bay Live series this summer? I just want to say thank you to all of our patrons and everyone who's continued to support the orchestra and the musicians. Um, this is a wonderful organization to be a part of and to be able to bring this kind of project out into our community is a really special honor to be a part of. So thank you very much. I would second that for sure. And please come and see us and um, we will see you in whatever venue you choose to come and see us at. Great, great. Well, I want to thank all of you for joining us again this week for Tuesday Talks. And it's kind of a special Tuesday Talk this week as we highlight something very exciting and new that is coming up for the Great Lakes Chamber Orchestra. And I personally want to thank Kim and Anne Marie for just grabbing a hold of this brand new program and uh, directing and leading our musicians through a what is going to be a very exciting program. And so I ask you to follow along on our website and our e-blasts and you will hear coming up in the next month or two, you will hear more about these summer programs, dates and times and musicians. So we're looking forward to sharing the orchestra with you outside of the concert hall and inside the concert hall too. For those of you that, that really enjoy that, we have got some concerts coming up again with safety in mind for audience members, staff members, and musicians. So Kim and Anne-Marie, I want to just thank you so much for being my guest and for giving a wonderful plug for this brand new program. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Thank you.